it's senior night, and you had a hand in recruiting Jordan Leslie from UTEP. What impact has he made in this first year? Oh, he's made a huge impact. Um, you know, not quite the statistical season that he wanted, but people, what people don't realize, Jordan has been hurt since Virginia, has not missed a practice, and um, has really contributed on the field. Really good leader, plays well off the ball. I think he's going to have a... Uh, career in the NFL. Um, I don't determine that, but I'm excited about it. And I've, a lot of really close, probably closer to Jordan than any other receiver I've coached. I've been with him um, for five years, and uh, we have a special relationship. I should have said it was his only year here. Also, Keanu Nelson, talk a little bit about him. Keanu's done well. He's uh, come on and kick return and uh, punt, really reliable uh, fielding punts, and he's caught a touchdown and caught some passes. Really positive Keanu's had uh, came here with some um, injury issues he didn't even know uh, so he's been really positive and, and knowledgeable and I, I think those guys really more than anything outside of being outstanding players have provided leadership and stability to our receiving core. Talk a little bit about Ross Oppo and the impact that he's had over his career here at BYU. <laughs> you know I told Ross I was um I've had the fortune of coaching a lot of receivers have gone on to play at the next level and really talented. And uh, Ross definitely talent-wise ranks in the top three. And, and one day, if he ever chooses, uh, outside of injuries, uh, to share his story, particularly this year, what has gone on in his life, um, I hope that he does because maybe people will understand. He's not been a disappointment to me at all. Uh, he had a great week of practice a couple weeks ago, then hurt, uh, sprains his ankle or uh, midfoot. Um, played well last week, so, you know, I, I think some people say, oh, Ross is, a, is disappointed, but not for me. I think in the end, Ross will get a degree from BYU, and I think somebody will, based on his physical stature and his athleticism, will probably get him into a camp. Um, and I... I I can't say enough about Ross. He's a stand-up individual. Knowing what he's dealt with off the field, um, I have no the utmost respect for Ross Apo. Coach, a unique opponent tonight, FCS opponent in their own 11. What are the goals for the wide receivers tonight, today? Play well. I told my guys, and I, I think one thing is as fans, people tend to look, oh, this will be an easy game. You can't ever get in that mindset as a football player. If we don't play well and play with intensity, your risk of injury goes up. Uh, and in, in, in a lot of ways, it's a no-win situation. If we score, you know, 70 points tonight, people say, oh, they should have. If you don't and you still win, and we're going to win this football game. I expect my guys to come out and play hard and, and never take anything for granted. Heck, they put on their pants the same way we do. So we got to come and be prepared to play. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for being with us. Good luck tonight. Thank you.